Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your daily reading for Monday, July 10th of 2023. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Hope you've all had a pretty decent weekend. Let's get into Monday, okay? We got a few things happening today. Uh, you could be experiencing a little bit, thank you, a little bit of challenging things today for you guys, okay? We've got a few major astrological events happening and they're all just at the same time we've got Mer uh, mars entering virgo okay so mars is all about initiative or having a battle um and in virgo you might be battling for perfection okay and this is probably within yourself um maybe you're setting your sights really high you might be extra critical of yourself or you know possibly other people but the main message with that energy is that you need to accept the things you can't change some things are beyond your control all right we also have mercury and cancer great um, but it's an it's an opposition of Pluto in Capricorn communication may be quite intense today not the best day to rock the boat okay because chances are, if you have some great inspiration that you want to kind of run with, you want to go with, if it seems a little bit too outside the box or too unusual, you may get shot down right away by anyone in a position of authority. So this may be where your boss just like, nope, we can't do that and just walks away, right? And it's like, nope. So this can leave you feeling a little bit defeated in this energy. So just so you're aware of that, remember there's things that you cannot change. Okay. Um, but we also have Mercury entering Leo. So this is actually, you know, daring you to think a little bit differently, but this is over the next two weeks or so. So if you do have some brilliant ideas and you do have something that you want to implement and that you want to put in motion, okay, today might not, not be the day to communicate that to someone in a position of authority. Okay. But keep that open mind though right? Because over the next couple of weeks, the timing may be better for you. All right. Just saying, we don't want you to get too, too, um, too, too discouraged here in this, uh, in this energy. So we've got the book of shadows coming in here with a secret. Ooh, very nice. Now there may be some information that you have that you're going to keep to yourself today. <laughs> right? Timing is everything, especially if we want to implement some change or if we've got some new ideas that we will want to work on. Okay. So you might need to keep that a secret today. Some of you may unearth some very important information today. Uh, you might be looking for something on purpose. Maybe you're doing some research, but you could actually stumble across some information today here as well. And you might need to decide what do I do with this information? Do I bring it to someone's attention? Um, if it's, you know, something that needs to maybe go to someone's attention today may or not be again, the day, it might not be the day where someone's willing to listen to you. So you might need to play that by ear, right? Is this, is today the day I bring this up with somebody or do I wait for the morning? Okay. So just, uh, just a little heads up there. Um, but there may be again, something that you do discover Today, this could be something within you. It could be something in your external world. Maybe something that's revealed as a little bit of a surprise. It might not even be anything you're in control of, okay? Um, something may just come to light today. So just um, be aware of that in that energy. I kind of, honestly, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm kind of getting the energy today where expect the unexpected and expect little surprises or bumps in the road along your along your journey today so not necessarily the easiest energy but a little discernment may actually serve you very well but as we do have this mars energy today okay some of you may uh be feeling a little bit rebellious okay uh you may need to kind of just stay grounded and focused today and put your rebellious energy a little bit behind you because we don't want something to come back to you in a way that isn't helpful for you okay um again right place right time right there's a time and place for everything and you know so use a little bit of discernment because we do have the wiccan read coming out here for you with the ethos and this is basically in a nutshell i won't read out the whole thing to you it's basically about um trusting in your own guidance 
okay? Raising your standards, all right? Understand the importance of being honest and truthful, but also knowing when to take action or when to do something, very important for you, okay? Because it really does have to do with um, the cause, of, the principle of cause and effect, all right? What we, what we put out comes back to us threefold or multiplied, okay? So if you're putting out some information or you're revealing a secret or you're communicating somewhere today and maybe it's an off the cuff remark or maybe you just decide to wing something today, this could come back on you, okay? So we just wanna make sure that you know, whatever you've got going on today that you know um, and that you take into account the energy, read the room, okay, that kind of thing, right? Read the room, right? There's wonderful, uh, you know, honesty and truth are very important in everything that we do, but we do need to know when to speak, right? Because if we speak at the wrong time, it comes back to you, okay? We want things to come back to you, but in a very positive way, all right? So just be a little bit aware of that, right? Big warnings, 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 right? It's not that today is going to be totally crappy or anything like that. It's just that there is this element of surprise or this is there this element of you might be excited about something okay or you might just be having these bright ideas and you just you want to get going with something right that mars energy okay that i need to do something i need to get going maybe you want to challenge the status quo somewhere again tomorrow may be a slightly better day for that than today okay we have the chariot. You've got some go-getter energy today, okay? We've got the queen of pentacles there for you as well. And we've got the three of wands, okay? So this is really that um, message in a nutshell, okay? The chariot, you're eager, you're excited about something. You've got some ambition, but the chariot is about taking action, moving forward, okay, in a very positive way, but... You only move forward in the direction that you want to move forward in if everything is in alignment for you. If someone is willing to receive what you're putting out there, okay? Because in the chariot, and you can't really tell with the symbology of this way. I mean, we've got this way and that way, so maybe you do need to make a decision today, okay? Um, I would say here, be very patient driving your vehicle, driving your car, just saying you might hit a little bit of a traffic jam or something like that. So just on a very practical level, okay? But to get the chariot going in the direction that you want to go in, you've got a goal, you've got an idea, you've got you feeling inspired, right? You've got some piece of information. Things need to be in alignment. The masculine and the feminine need to be in harmony. So there's no point being eager beaver if someone ain't going to listen to you, right? You need to be a little bit discerning in that energy. But this is a very excited energy, and this shows that you will be successful with things that you do in your day ahead, and it's based on your actions, right? And, you know, it's a, it's a good energy, but again, you do need to just uh, time and place, right? So just make sure that you know when the timing is right to move forward with something, okay? The chariot can show that maybe you are uh, a little bit excited about something. I mean, the chariot is a card of success, okay? It is one of, you know, taking initiative, taking action, getting the ball rolling, but you can, you know, really see something through to the finish line. But as the Queen of Pentacles reminds us, Sometimes we need to be a little discerning. Sometimes we need to nurture our ideas for a few minutes or for a day, okay? And we need to be patient, all right? So eager beaver and then patient energy. So the queen of pentacles is coming in here to help ground your energy, okay? And to help to show you perhaps again, that time and place kind of energy today, okay? So just remember that you might be excited about something and all gung-ho, but remember that timing thing, right? Timing is everything. The Queen of Pentacles, though, does come in here to show you that your goal is within reach, okay? That there may be something that you really want to do or you want to try, um, or maybe something there is there is something that you're seeing through to the, the finish line, and this is an energy of success. It's also an energy of rewards and abundance and nurturing yourself, your goals, your dreams. Um, this is one of patience, staying grounded, and um, maybe even practicing a little bit of self-care. 
may be important for you. So take care of yourself today here, folks, right? Ground and protect your energy, okay? And try not to be too impulsive today. That's the word I was looking for a little bit earlier, all right? But this shows you here as well because the Queen of Pentacles is open and receptive, but very calm, very patient, and a little bit slow moving sometimes, okay? And so this can be, right, is that wait until someone is ready to receive what you've got to say, okay? But I do feel that you do have a breakthrough or you've got some sec success at hand or something um, in your day-to-day. -day. It depends what it is. If it does involve other people, again, discernment, right? But I think some of you here are very much on track to accomplish a goal of some kind. And this could be something in your home. This can be something to do with you. Maybe you've um, set some personal goals for yourself, right? And here you are right? Things are falling into place for you. And, um, you know, I think you'll be very pleased with how your day goes today. But we do have the three of wands here also. So this starts with an idea, a spark of inspiration, right? And then we put a plan together. We figure out, okay, what's my next steps? And then the three of wands, you're ready to take the next steps on something here. So, um, you know, being prepared for things is very important. Knowing when to take those steps, very important. And, but I think here that you might have an opportunity um, that's really exciting or that can take you in the direction that you want to go in. Okay, um, with the Three of Wands. You just got to wait for that right time because, you know, always the message with that Three of Wands is that you've got something that you want to do. You know the next step that you need to get the ball rolling, but you're waiting for that perfect opportunity. So uh, sometimes we can procrastinate a little bit too long, but I don't think that you have to wait too long to get something going um, and to make some moves. But there is an element of travel here as well. Some of you maybe are um, on a road trip today or on a vacation today, or some of you are planning a vacation today. There is movement in your energy today, so it's not a day of sitting still, of standing still. I think you'll get a lot done today. You'll be, um, you know, you'll accomplish something today, and, um, you know, and this can really help you move forward and help you to uh, just feel like, you know what, I did good today, or I got some work done today, or I cleaned my house today, right? And uh, you're feeling pretty good about what you have accomplished, okay? Right time, right place for everything, <laughs> okay? So I'm going to leave that there for you. Uh, kind of a weird energy today, a little bit of a push and pull, start pull, push, pull and drag energy today, um, but that's okay. Sometimes we have those. The energy will get a little bit easier as we go through the week, okay? It's Monday. What can you say? It's Monday, right? So I hope you guys have a good day today. I hope there was something here for you. If so, please like, share, subscribe, all of that wonderful stuff. Um, just a heads up in case you haven't seen them already. There are spirit guide messages out here for you guys. Um, uh, today is Monday, so there's still a few more. To, there's still a few more to come out. They're uploading and processing and all that um, exciting things in the background. So just keep an eye out for those. Of course, your weeklies are out for each uh, sign as well, all on one video. So all of those links will be in the uh, description box down below so that you can easily see them. Otherwise, have a great Monday, you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.